The next test we're going to run through is the upper limb tension test for the radial nerve. Um, patient position you'll notice is slightly different. I have her angle on the table and that is so that um, I can use my thigh to create <coughs> a scapular depression. So in this test I actually am going to want to create scapular depression with my thigh. I'm also, instead of towards the patient's feet, I'm up towards the patient's shoulder. So you'll notice a slightly different position of patient and um, myself, the physical therapist for this test. So um, similar to the other two tests, I'm going to assess symptom response at each position. Um, but in this particular test, I'm going to use both hands to control the position of the arm and block the scapula of my thigh. So first movement I'm going to create is scapular depression, again with my thigh, followed by elbow extension. Then I'm going to create shoulder internal rotation, pronation, wrist and finger flexion. And she's doing okay up into that point. So I can add shoulder abduction. She starts to feel it there. So I can either release at the wrist or I can come back out of abduction. Or I can have her side bend her head towards me to try to assess um, structural differentiation for this particular nerve.